Okay, guys, hopefully you've had a look at the introductory video above and you have some sort of idea as to what constitutes a website. Once you've looked at that video, we're going to have a look at how to start making a website in Google Sites. Now, the first thing you need to do is to decide what you want on your website. What is your website going to be about? And you need to plan your website before you even start. Believe me, do the planning first, then you'll have a product that looks all right. Okay, guys, I reckon there are basically three main areas where you can decide your web page is going to go and you need to decide on before you start. Number one, I'd say is an interest area where you want to share your knowledge. If you have something that really interests you and you know a lot about it, you can create a web page about it. And you'll see lots of examples of this on the web. Second one be, would be if you are a club or group to communicate, you might want to invent a club or group that you create a web page about. It might be any, uh, a club or group that centers around ponies. It might be about car racing. But if you have a club or group or you even want to invent a club or group, you might want to create a website. And really the last one, there are there are ones outside the box here, government ones, etc. But probably where we are is where we're at is if you've got a product to sell now obviously you see lots of things on the web people want to sell things well you might invent a product you might have an idea for a product that you want to sell google sites does not allow us to actually sell from it but you could advertise things from the google site so first step is let's plan what our website is going to be about now, once you have your plan, once you have your idea, it's time to start making our site and Google Sites. There's a lot more planning we have to do, but um, we can at least start. And that's all we're going to do this week is we're going to start. And I'll touch on the other planning you will do for next week, and you can explore that before next week. I am going to enter um, our, my Google Sites via my nine pins. I'm just in Gmail here, but you could be in Drive. You could be wherever to enter your nine pins. I'll do it in Drive now. I'm here now. So I hit my nine pins and I find the Google Sites icon, which is here on my nine pins. So I'm going to press the Google Sites icon like that. And this is basically what you should then see. We can use what's called the classic sites. I oh, can see one side of started here, but we're going to use new Google Sites. So you will go down to new Google Sites and press that there. And then what should come up is you won't see everything I've got unless you did one of these last year. These are a lot of sites that have been shared with me from previous years. These are two that I've just been creating. If you've been using my website for PE or STEM, my portal, this is where I've been working on it in here. And I have another one here. But you, people, need to go down to the Google Plus. And you will hit the Google Plus. And the, the wheel will spin. And you will have a blank canvas for your new Google site. So the first thing you need to do is come up with a name for your Google site. Just like naming a doc or whatever, I'm going to call this one Tester. Okay, but you will give it a name that's relevant to what your site is about. If you decided a product, organization, or whatever. Today, or this week, all I want you to do is to work on this banner here. So you will come up, this is where people will land on your site. You come up with the name with your site, what they're going to see to start with. Uh, my site, for example, might be for a club. Uh, I will call it the crib. No, no, I'll call it the bitten, the bitten kids club. This test site. Oh, help if I didn't write in caps locks. I do that a lot, don't I? Bitten kids club. So there, I have a name for my site. A simple start. All right, you can change the background here. You can put a logo in here. You can see add logo. So you might develop some artwork, use GIMP or whatever, and you can upload a logo here. So if you hit upload, it will ask you where you're getting that logo for. 
here is the logo I used on another site. I'll use it as an example, the actual Bitten logo. Open. That will load. And now you can see it's there. It doesn't quite work with the background I have there. I can change the change the header type. I can make it large, uh, small. I can make it how it was. I can make it large. I can make it fill the whole cover. Okay. I'm just going to go with the banner type. But just have a play with it. And you might have noticed when I was out there, it said change image. So if I go back to the bit and load one that I was working on, I changed the image here, in here. I also changed the image within the menu of lots of the pages. You might be able to see menu here. So if I went to the, my PE page, I changed the image there for each page in my site. But for now, in our tester, you will create your image here you might leave it as it is. You can upload an image. You can even select any of the images within Drive that you had. You can you can pick one here. But I'm thinking, if you want to be really cool, go out, take a photo, get your own image up here. That's basically all we're going to do today. But I'm going to show you a couple of other examples. This one I've started for the district visitors. And you can see I've used a photo from Bike Ed last week in the header. You might also notice here, I have a menu of pages. And this is what I was talking about before in terms of starting to put, plan your site. What are the different pages? For example, I've got uh, different uh, throwing, catching skills and sub menus here. And if I go back to the bitten one, I've got grade F to two, grade three to four, grade five to six, and I have specialists in here. PE, STEM, art, music. And I started to create these pages here. That's something for next week. All I want you to do this week is get this banner sorted. Maybe have a think about some pages you've got. And this is where I've started to put in content. We'll go over how we put in content next week on the insert page. But if you want to start having a play with it in inserting content, by all means do that. And that's all I need you to do this week.